What's going on everyone? This is Family Jewel 7 x and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play my arrangement of Jonathan Colton's Want You Gone from Portal 2. Welcome again to another one of my tutorial videos based on the uh, 10 tutorial videos that you guys voted for uh, for me to teach you guys how to play and uh, make backing tracks and tabs out of all of the guitar covers I made in my first two years of uh, my YouTube guitar covers of video game music. Uh, so this song um, is uh, definitely one of my favorite video game songs of all time. Uh, so I'm just I'm just a huge fan of uh, you know Valve and Portal and all that stuff. Um, so, uh, this was definitely a lot of fun to do, a lot of fun to arrange. Um, I definitely, um, love the arrangement enough that I did want to keep as, as, uh, as true to the original, uh, as I could. Um, you know, adding a little bit of flair, uh, just to make it my own, but, um, you'll see that there aren't a whole lot of differences between, uh, my version and the one, uh, that Jonathan Colton has in, uh, in Portal 2, sorry. Uh, so, the first thing, uh, I do want to let you guys know is that we are in drop C for this song. Um, everything except the bass, which is in B standard, five string bass, B standard. Um, so, uh, we're gonna tune up and then I'm gonna show you some of the lead guitars that I do, uh, and then, uh, some of the other stuff. But, um, check the description for the tabs, the backing track, it's all in a zip file. Um, everything that you're gonna need other than this video to help you get along with, uh, you know, learning this song. So let's tune up. We got, uh, drop C is C, G, C, F, A, and D. So. Here they are. You get the idea. So this song kind of has this one theme that's running kind of through most of it, uh, changes in the chorus, and I kind of incorporated that into one big guitar track. Um, that's uh, in the tabs lead guitar number three. Um, it's the one that does this. It's the... Oh, God. Sorry about that. So all that really is, um, since we're in drop C, you're starting on the second fret on your G string, which would be your A string. Um, if you are using A, that's just open. You just transpose it down uh, two frets. Okay, so um, pretty much all I'm doing here is... And then on the next string, uh, four, then moving it down a half step. That, which is kind of cool. Nice little uh, tritone there. Uh, so you got... So, you know, you kind of go this pa the same pattern on top. You're going uh, four, four, three, three, two, two, five. So you're kind of dancing around that fifth. Oh. And then, you know, you change around, uh, you kind of get, uh, you'll see in the tabs that you do some stuff like... Or, uh, all that stuff, just, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, also, in the chorus, I'm doing these octaves, and uh, the, only thing, the only thing I'm doing is like, you know, uh, third fret, on uh, the G string, and then just the octave above that. Very, very self-explanatory. Um, and then at the end, that does change. Um, where uh, there is the key change, uh, where then we're up to. Very easy stuff. Um, if you guys have any questions, just uh, let me know. Or I'm sure if you leave a comment, someone might be able to help. But I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely help you if I find it. Um, so there's that. So now let me show you um, some of the uh, the verse stuff a little bit up and close. Um, you'll notice that uh, it's pretty much the same idea every verse. The rhythms kind of change depending on um, the lyrics. Uh, you know, I tried to keep it as uh, close to the lyrical rhythm as I could. Um, so you'll see that in the tab. Uh, I'm going to show you the first verse um, because that's pretty much all you really need to, uh, you know, you just adapt it. Um, and then other than that... Uh, the uh, the solo uh, there's the key change I'm not really going to show you the key change uh, just move it, move it all up um, and then uh, yeah the um, what is it yeah and then uh, there's another guitar part under the chorus that's just octaves I'm not going to show you that either just so you can see that in the tabs 
Uh, I'm going to just show you the higher octave. And then the solo, um, I, you might want to try this, uh, use, your, um, use your neck pickup. I'm doing a lot of taps. I, I felt that um, I wanted to write a solo for it. It was very simplistic, uh, a little bit cute. Um, and I wanted it to kind of have that robotic feel. And I, I whenever I think of um, robotic music, electronic music, I think of a lot of octaves. Um, so you'll notice I'm doing a lot of octave taps, like stuff like that. I thought that kind of sounds a lot uh, like what I would expect, um, you know, like a Wheatley guitar solo to be, I don't know. Um, but all right, so that's pretty much all you need to know. I'm gonna show you these uh, up to speed, a little bit slower, and uh, you guys should have it in no time. Now there isn't a whole lot more going on in the rhythm guitar. Uh, sometimes I'll come back and uh, I'll, I'll repeat, um, or actually I'll double with the lead guitar the part. Um, but uh, for the most part, um, the only difference is when I actually play chords, I tried to keep it light since already when there was this and then the, you know, the all that stuff going on, it got a little messy. So what I wanted to do is I just wanted to like emphasize some notes to kind of give it more of a heavier feel. Um, so all I did was, you know, I just kind of got this rhythm going in the beginning, um, you know, right up here on A. Kind of deal. 
I have to check to make sure I'm not lying to you guys. Um, so all the rhythm is just. You know, it's pretty simple. Um, but other than that here, I'll show you um, I'll show you what I'm doing in the outro. Um, and then I'm going to also show you uh, pretty much uh, on the bass, the transition into the chorus and then the outro for the bass because those are a little bit different. Uh, but the outro, I'm just showing you chords, the chords that I'm using for that. Um, but other than that, it's all power chords. It's all fun. Uh, you know, just, you know, lay down some punk rock strums and it's it's a good time. And that's just about all you need to know to learn this song. Uh, if there's anything else uh, that you guys need, uh, please send me a comment or a message, and I'll try to help you as best as I can. Uh, check out the description for the tabs and the backing track. And uh, other than that, good luck. I hope you guys have fun learning it, and I will see you guys again next week for another tutorial.